Those arcs have many beautiful landforms, but those that I find the most beautiful are the creation streams that are found here. For years, people have in one way or another enjoyed the bodies of water. They have also used these creation streams for survival. Some of the first people to settle along these creation streams were the Native Americans. They used the water for cooking, drinking, and bathing. They also used the water for their crops and animals. These creation streams also provided transportation. People have found arrowheads and other artifacts that were left behind by the Native Americans that proved they lived along these creeks and streams. As people from other countries came, they also settled along these bodies of water. The creeks and streams also provided a form of transportation, water that could be used for drinking and cooking, food, and water that could be used to water their crops as well as farm animals. Most of the creeks and streams are fed by springs. The water is clear and continually flows. Because they are fed by springs, the water is usually very fresh and cold. Many different fish live in these creeks and streams. Some of the fish that live in these creeks and streams in the Ozarks are suckers, trouts, small and largemouth bass, walleye, goggle and catfish. Many people have fished these creeks and streams at one time or another. Early settlers fished the for fish for food. Today, people also fish for food, but they also fish for recreation. People fish in many different ways. Some go out and boat and fish. People go fly fishing, casting reel, and sucker grabbing. Because many of these creeks and streams are small and not deep enough for a boat, people usually wade in them in order to get to the fish. Some of the names of these creeks and streams in our parts are the, of the Ozarks are Little Beaver, Swan, Bull Creek, and Beaver Creek. Some of the lakes are Table Rock, Lake Tanicamo, Bull Shoals, and Beaver Lake. As you travel farther away, there are many other creeks and streams that are part of the Ozarks. Some of them are the Gascony, Niangle River, Merrimack, James River, and North Fork. The largest man-made freshwater lake in the Ozarks is Truman Lake, located at the Lake of the Ozarks. The quality of the water found in the creeks and streams have gotten worse over the years. When people first settled here, there was very little contamination in the water as people started using fertilizer for their crops and allowing animals to wander freely in the creation streams the water became polluted as more homes and businesses were built more pollution occurred today conservationists are consistently constantly testing the water in the creation streams to see if they are contaminated and they are trying to find ways to prevent this from happening if you want to be able to continue enjoying the beauty of the water and the time we spend fishing these creeks and streams we must do our part to make sure that they remain clean if we do this not only can we enjoy using these creeks and streams in the ozarks but also future generations can enjoy them